Hello friends, how are you all doing? My name is Shaz, short for Shahrazad, and I love colorful makeup. Today we're going to jump into this palette. It's the Meant to Be palette with two E's, hence the B on it, from Sugar Drizzle. This is a six pan palette, absolutely gorgeous. The color story is totally up my alley, so I can't wait to jump into it. I'm going to do swatches and two eye looks for you only using this palette so I'm not going to use any other palette if that sounds good to you also don't forget like this video and consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this let's jump right in before we get into the eye looks let's take a look at the swatches As always, I do two swipes for each color on bare skin with no primer. I'm going to pick a packing brush and I'm going to go into the only matte color in this palette called Plan B. So cute. And I'm going to put it in my outer V. Folks, one thing I've realized, and I did not know this, and I feel a little bit embarrassed that I didn't know this, I'm going to bring this under my lower lash line as well. I've realized that with certain types of dark mattes, these mostly depends on the brand, I actually get better payoff using a packing brush. I don't know if you all watched my video with the Fête de Provence palette from Nomad. The colors were a lot easier to control with a packing brush than with a fluffy brush. I'm now going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend these outer edges to make sure this doesn't look very harsh. Let me see if I can capture the shifts in this palette. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I'm now going to jump into NYX's glitter primer. Putting this glitter primer on my eye, similarly on the other eye. I'm going to now go into this color called Pollinates. This is one of those gold to red to purple. I'm going to put this in the center like that a little bit towards the end because I do want it to get a curve so that you can see the shift in the color. I'm overlapping it a little bit on the matte, on the dark matte. As we know, if we want multichromes to show, we want to put it in a, as large a surface as we can and on a curved surface so that you can see the shift in the colors. I'm going to go into this color called Wannabe. The names are so cute in this palette. And I'm going to put it in my inner corner area. And I'm also going to look up and bring it down here. Folks, if you have recommendation for brushes that capture creams or creamier shadows, like shimmer shadows, please write them down below. I like to use my fingers because I never have luck with brushes. I feel like brushes just eat my colors and don't give a lot of payoff. Now I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to go into this color called Bumblegum and I'm going to go in my inner corner area. I'm going to clean up a little bit of these edges to remove harsh lines. So just doing a bit of blending. Okay, friends, my eye look is complete. I really like this palette. I find it very succinct and small, but it seems like it's pretty versatile. I'm trying to not use any other palettes with this, so there's going to be some repeats in the second look. But so far, I've really liked this, and it stayed consistent with what I've experienced with Sugar Drizzle. I have had very good experience with Sugar Drizzle so far, mattes and shimmers, and this palette just lived up to that. No issues so far. Let me bring the camera closer to show you this eye look from close up. I'm back for the second look. 
I actually don't remember if I said this, but I had primed my eyes before I did the first look with Max Painterly, and I did it again. These two are the only colors I haven't used at all. I'm gonna go back into Plan B, this time with a different packing brush. I actually don't know what I do. Maybe I could have used the same one, but it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna do the outer V part again. You know as well as I know, you can pair this with something else with say Blends palette or a lot of other palettes out there. You know what, I'm just gonna go all over my eye. Let me use that first fluffy brush and I'm going to blend these edges. If this palette had a lighter color, lighter matte, I would have totally used it to blend this right now and that would have removed the harsh edge. It would have blended this dark color into my skin, but because it doesn't, it's kind of difficult to blend that edge. Right now is a completely different time of the day from when I recorded. I, as you can see, my outfit is the same. So I recorded early morning before I went to work and now I'm recording after I'm back from work. And I apologize for the background noise. I feel like it's inevitable any time of the day that I want to film, there is going to be cars on the road. Unless I, probably unless I film at midnight or something. Honestly, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if there are cars on the road at that hour. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of these two colors. These are the two colors that we have. I want to, this green is just mesmerizing. It's a green to sort of a pink lavendery. And the other color, the other color is um, sort of a gold to a light pink. I don't know if it captures the lavender and this also, I'm not sure if it's capturing the color. I'm just going to put a little bit of this green in the center. Oh, that is absolute magnificence. Look at that. I'm loving it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this on the edge. I'm going to, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to use the matte shade to clean these edges. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to come under. Looking up would help. With a small brush, I'm going to go into this color. I'm going to try to fix what I what happened around here. By fixing, I mean just blending that into that part and blending this into this part. I need to clean this area a little bit, but other than that, my eye look is done. Another thing that I also do off camera usually is that I blend out the edges. If there's anywhere that there is a little bit of patchiness, I might just take one of these brushes and fully blend everything. If there's any colors that need to be blended into each other, I just always do a final blend. So let me go do that off camera and also this eye, and I will be right back. Okay friends, I'm back with the completed eye look. To complete the look, I also put um, a bit of the long lasting liquid lipstick. That's such a tongue twister. From Ofra on my lips in the color Manila. I've mentioned this before, usually with very bold, colorful or dark eyes, I like to balance out the look with a nude lip. Also, these Ofra liquid lipsticks are nice because they don't dry my lips. They're very creamy and I sometimes get dry lips. Anyway, let's jump into the palette to have a quick chat. I like this palette. All the colors, all the shimmers as well as the matte are pretty pigmented and the, uh, and the shimmers are pretty creamy and nice. Totally lived up to my expectation of what I know about Sugar Drizzle. I did get a little bit of patchiness with the dark color, folks. If you watch these videos you will know or know already that i've been seeing patchiness with dark blues mostly dark blues i don't think i ever had patchiness with any other color but hey little thing we know about color theory is that purples have blue in them so could that be why i got patchy here maybe i'm starting to wonder if dark blues just get patchy on me there's something in them that just doesn't like my eyes or it doesn't like the texture behind my eyes doesn't matter. There's a little bit of patchiness. I can live with that. Honestly, maybe I'm getting old and I, my eyes are just getting more texture behind them. I don't even think you can see it from this distance. 
I'm gonna bring the camera closer to show you the eye look from close up. Maybe you can see it at that distance, we'll see. But other than that, no issue with the matte. There's just one matte in this palette. And with the shimmers, mostly fine. The only thing that I realized is that Pollinates, which is this multichrome over here, creased on me. Now, I have hooded eyes. Certain cream multichromes crease on hooded eyes. That's just kind of the name of the game. There's not a whole lot I can do. Does that mean it's gonna crease on you? Maybe not. There was no other issues with the first eye look that I made. I wore it for around eight hours of the workday, maybe even longer. It looked pretty much intact. I only had a crease. Would I buy this palette again? Absolutely. These colors are totally my type of colors. This green color, I don't know if you see the shift. It's a green to lavender. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, beautiful color. I'm going to bring the camera closer so that you can see this eye look from close up. Thanks again, friends, for watching this video. Write to me if you bought this palette, what your thoughts were, if you've used it, if you want to buy this palette, or anything else you want to write in the comments for me. Don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. I love you all, and until next time. Bye!